Two sides in an angle of a triangle are given. Determine whether the given measurements produce one triangle, two triangles, or no triangle at all. Solve each triangle that results. Draw to the nearest tenth and the nearest degree for sides and angles respectively. So we will use law of sine. So we have A side A over sine angle A is equal to B over sine angle B is equal to side C over sine angle C. Now our given is side A and angle A. So we have side B and angle B is unknown as well as the side C and angle C. Now we can use this to sort for angle B. So since we need angle, we can flip the, uh, the ratio. So we have sine 60 over 16 is equal to sine angle B over 18. You cross multiply, so we have 18 sine 60 degrees over 16 is equal to sine angle B. Then get the inverse to solve for angle B, so we have 18 sine 60 degrees over 16. Now, we need to check first if we are in degrees, so the, uh, the calculator is set for degrees. Then you do the inverse, the one blue, so and you do sine, so you have inverse sine. Then you have 18 sine 60 close the parentheses, divide by 16, so then this will be equal to 76.97 or angle B is 77 degrees because we need to round to the nearest degree. Then after this, we can check if we, this given will produce one triangle or two triangles. So let's assume this is our first triangle and this is our second triangle. Now we have given angle A is equal to 60 degrees. So angle A is 60 degrees. Then angle B is 77 degrees. For the second triangle, we need to solve angle B. So it will be 180 degrees minus 77 degrees. So this will be equal to 103 degrees. Then we will solve for angle C, so angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. So angle A is 60 degrees, angle B is 77 degrees. Angle C is unknown, so we have 180. Uh, add this, we have 137 plus angle C is 180 degrees, subtract 137 degrees. So we have angle C is equal to uh, 43 degrees. Then here we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. Angle A is 60. Then angle B is 103 plus angle C is 180 degrees. Add uh, this together is 160 degrees plus angle C. Then subtract 163 to solve for angle C. So we have angle C is equal to, this will be equal to 17 degrees. So we have two triangles because we have two positive angle C. So this triangle is kind of like this. So we have angle A. Our angle B is the greatest, then we have angle C. So this will be 60, this is 77 degrees, and this is 43 degrees. And for this, it's like this triangle. So this will be your A, which is 60 degrees. And this is angle B, which is equal to 103 degrees. And this is angle C, which is 17 degrees. So the given produce two triangles. Now we need to solve for side C of each triangle. So for the first triangle, 
we have we will use the proportion of 16 over sine 60 degrees c equal to c over sine angle c is 43 degrees you cross multiply so this will be 16 sine 43 degrees over sine 60 degrees so this will be our c so it will it is 16 sine 43 close parenthesis divide by sine 60 this is equal to uh, 12.6 so this is our side c which is equal to 12.6 and here we will do the same 16 sine 60 degrees is side c over sine angle 17 degrees because that's our angle c you cross multiply so 16 sine 17 degrees over sine 60 degrees is equal to side c so this will be equal to 16 sine 17 close parenthesis divided by sine 60 close parenthesis that will be equal to 5.4 so our answers for first triangle and we have the second triangle so the first triangle we have side A is 16 side B is 18 and side C is equal to 12.6 so it says rounds to the nearest tenth for our sides okay then angle a is 60 degrees angle b is equal to 77 degrees and angle c is equal to 43 degrees then for second angle triangle is 16 b is 18 side c is 5.4 then angle a is 60 which is the given angle b is equal to 7 103 degrees and angle c is 7 degrees so this triangle uh, this given produce two triangles